Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. All right. Let me ask you this question. Um, I'm going to bring this other artist up. I was talking to this dude named Wook. OG Wook. DJ Wook? No, DJ. Uh, OG is named okay. Wook. And he was telling me about this guy named Lil Handy. Oh, yeah. And he was like, bro, let me tell you. If Lil Handy wouldn't have died, he was going to be before Boosie. He was like Baton Rouge Soldier Slim. Closest thing to Did you know Lil Handy? Yeah, I knew him personally. Really, him and Boosie was really good friends. Boosie wanted Handy to sign the Trill Entertainment. I mean, a lot of people don't know me and Boosie was best friends. Mm. I come out of high school in 02, and I, um, when I, I told you I had stopped playing ball, mm. had dropped out my junior year, I end up going back my senior year and I end up graduating. But I end up picking up rap. You know what I'm saying? I had been rap, but I had started fucking with it. My little partner who played ball with me, he had brought a CD to school. Mind you, this in 2001. This nigga had his voice on CD. I'm like, nigga, how the fuck you did this? He like, oh, my people got a computer. They got a little mic set up. It was a little, a little bullshit set up, but they knew how to work it. I'm like, man, you got to take me over there. I won't hear myself on the mic. So I went over there. Um, the little brother was trying to work the shit. He didn't know how to work the shit. It was it was the, his older brother who, they was Boosie cousin. And uh, the older brother went to McKinley with Boosie, and they was really good friends over, the, over that. And uh, he knew how to work the equipment. <clears throat> he had got the shit. He had started to do the shit for the little dude who played on the basketball team for me. It's his name, Sickle. Um, I ended up being in a rap group with him called Paper Talk. He ended up getting his like the guard of preacher now or whatever. So, um, we start recording. Well, let, um, let me go back. When the big brother came in and seen the little brother fucking with the shit, he got pissed off. Like, man, what the fuck y'all in here doing? That nigga flashed out. And, you know, I'm like... Boy, I beat you know what I'm saying. I'm really like son, like you know, I don't you we don't know each other for you to be coming in here like that. I kind of just held my tongue though, like all right, you know what I'm saying. So he like, man, you recording? I just kind of I ain't saying nothing. I'm like yeah, all right, you know what I'm saying. He like, come on, let's do it. So we start recording. I spit my verse. That boy stopped that bitch like. Man, you know how to do this shit for real. I'm like, I ain't never recorded before, but you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I could rap. Yeah. So he like, no, look. Man, we putting a record label together. You know what I'm saying? He like, I know you know Silka, but he like, I got my little partner Dino out the top. You know what I'm saying? Dino, that's who Booster rapping about on uh, Dino. He gonna fire too. When uh, we was in high school, Dino mama died. And Dino got like 300,000. And that nigga started balling. That nigga was buying all kind of cars. You know what I'm saying? You know, went to flush his mouth with gold. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody wanted to be Dino friend. You know what I'm saying? But Dino wanted to rap. And he didn't really know how to rap. So he like, man, we could make Dino a star. He like, I want you to be in a group with Dino. And you write all the hooks. Whoop the wham. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward. We did a group called Paper Talk, bro. The shit took off, man. Like. We was the first pe people in our era to like do our own shit. The only people who had shit out in the stores was Trill Entertainment and Sam I Am them, the Jigglator, mm -hmm. and the Camp, Loke them, Max them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, them the only them was the only three entities around this bitch. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, B Lo. So when the younger people like, cause we was what we was doing to get on, we would go to the high schools. And just pass out on um, demos, pass out our CD. Yeah. But we um, what happened was by the big brother knowing Booster, he used to come record with us sometimes. That nigga ended up recording a beat on our producer beat, and ended up being Keep It Gutter. The original Keep It Gutter track sounds really, really raw and gritty, mm -hmm. but that's the best one. That's the one was made in the Ram Shack in our studio. Wow. Yeah, you Damn. feel me? But this how we did it. We didn't have a feature from him yet. Well, we did have a feature, 
but the song wasn't finished. So we had all these other Rawlers songs. So we like, we're going to put these nine songs on the disc and we put Keep It Gutter on the end of it, like as a bonus track. Mm -hmm. And Boo ain't really had nothing out at the time. Like he was in between from Camp to Trio. Mm -hmm. You know, that's when Turk them had just got him. And they, they was burning the green and yellow CD. Remember, they was pissed off about that. Mm -hmm. So he wasn't dropping no music. So we leaked that bitch. Man, that, that CD went from here to Lafayette to Opelousas, mm -hmm. everybody on that bitch, you know what I'm saying? So now we picking up some steam. We doing shows with Soldier Slim, you know, whooped around. Oh, you met Soldier Slim? Yeah, I used to be with Slim. I remember one time at the Zone on Florida Airline, Slim had a concert right when he got out, when uh, years later and a few, few years after.